Hey, what's happening, guys? I'm not feeling too good today, so please bear with me. In a few days, I'm going to do a couple of videos on LEDs and brightness and ultra brights and, you know, just kind of a broad sweep of the LED world. And I thought that one of the things we could do would be to compare standard LEDs versus the ultra brights and see if they're really that much better. So in order to do that, we need a light meter. I found this one on eBay for like 12 bucks. I, I'm not recommending it. I don't know anything about it. It says measurement range 0 to 200,000 lux accuracy plus minus 4% plus 10. Uh, unit selection lux or foot candles. Repeatability plus minus 2%. Temperature point 1%. And it comes with three double E batteries. So let's see if we can get it open. Oh, that's open surprisingly easy. Hmm. I see no batteries. Yeah, there are no batteries. I gotta get batteries. One moment. Okay, batteries. Long lasting alkaline from the Dollar General. Our products aren't the best, but we're everywhere. So we're convenient. Let's put a couple batteries in here. Now, if we can get this open, I am willing to bet you 13 pesos that is 90% empty. Sanitized for my protection. Okay, power. Hey, she lighted it up. And if I take off the protective cover, you can see that the old desk is lit at 2165 lux. And I can switch that in the foot candles. Local temperature 19.7 C and I can switch that to more normal units. Fahrenheit of course. I'm kidding people that use the metric system. So anyway, how does this work? What all goes into it? Okay, let's work out what's in here. I, I bet you we can get pretty close. The light sensor itself is going to be a photodiode. And a photodiode is a device that gives off a voltage when it is struck with photons. Now, here's your question for today. Will this be a digital signal or an analog signal? Keep in mind, digital signals are on off and analog signals are variable. All right, write down your answers. So, we have a photodiode that is probably going to feed into an op amp. I'm just guessing here. I haven't looked inside it yet. And then there will be some sort of IC to control the screen. And of course, our power. So, let's see if I can get into it. I see three screws. Teeny, tiny little Phillips screws. They're tight. Think there's a hidden screw somewhere under the sticker or something? Well, I bet you there is. Oh, look, I can feel it right there. Pop goes the weasel. Huh. 
me get a flashlight. Those appear to be calibration screws. I don't want to mess with them. It looks like this thing just wants to snap apart. Oh, there we go. I hope that's an antenna. Oh, no, that's a thermistor. Okay. All good. Okay, we got her apart. Let's zoom in here. Now, we know up in the head section is the photodiode. So we have a thermistor here that's checking our uh, local temperature. Now, both of these ICs that you can see right there, uh, this little narrow one here is MEF40668T, and the big guy, which is probably a processor, is MKL33Z64, and I can't find squat on either one. And that's probably due to the fact that I paid like $4 from this off eBay from Shenzhen. Okay, otherwise, what do we have? Well, we've got what looks to be a dual diode package, maybe? Or a voltage regulator? Hard to tell. This appears to be a uh, serial or maybe a JTAG interface. We've got some decoupling capacitors. Got a couple big capacitors, probably bypass caps. Another one of those. Very few resistors, so... I don't know. I think you all owe me 13 pesos because that is mostly empty. But if you want to be technical about it and count the uh, circuit board, we can call it even. You know, I thought for sure there'd be an op amp in here. You probably use as an error amplifier to uh, knock up the signal. But I guess not. So other than checking our LEDs, what else do you do with the light meter? Well, if you're a photographer, you use it. Otherwise, you can walk around your house and measure things and see how bright they are. For instance, if I put it directly under my bench light, it's 6,000 lux. But I'm just going to hold this button and turn it off. And thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please share them. If you enjoy the video, give me a thumbs up. Big thanks to our patrons. Big thanks to you for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.